All right, Herc, let's talk some Major League Soccer. Inter Miami beating Toronto FC 1 0 on Saturday. That puts them within one win of setting the new single season points record for Major League Soccer. All they got to do is beat New England on October 19th, and the record is theirs. Uh, first off, is there any chance, Herc, that they don't get it? New England are freaking terrible. New England, no, they're, they're going to get it. I'm just curious at what point do we just say, does it really matter that they keep breaking these records? They keep adding more teams, so that's more games to be played. There's going to be more points. I'm looking at it right now. It was St. Louis around when New England broke that record. So, you know, I don't know what any of this means. But if, if we're going off, will they break the record against New England? Yeah, they're going to break the record against New England because New England is terrible. They are mm -hmm. awful. And, and it's poetic that they're going to break the record against the team that owns the record. And they'll do it in, in what I would think will be spectacular fashion in front mm. of, you know, fans and, and the rest of the world that's watching. Yeah. It's coming after the international break, so we don't know what they'll have as far as Messi is concerned. But even without Messi against New England and at home, I think the game is at home, um, it would be hard to imagine Inter-Miami not, not winning this one. As far as the team's legacy, though, Herc, um, you say you don't know what it means, and I appreciate the points you bring up, right? It's hard to measure points now versus points then. The league has changed a lot, but they've already got a league's cup. I know it's last year. They've already got a supporter shield. If they have the points record and an MLS cup, and then you just look at that roster, it's going to be pretty hard to argue that for a single season, this has not been the best team ever, right? If they can get MLS cup, it'd be very difficult to argue against it because that's how we measure things here. If you ask me right now, who are they up against in terms of best MLS Say it, DC United, 98-99, say it. Yeah, DC that did well against nine other teams. I would go I with uh, Toronto FC 2017 and what they did, mm -hmm. what they accomplished, yeah. and how they did it. Listen, Messi is Messi, and I'm not going to take anything away from the best player that's ever played the game who's now destroying defensives in Major League Soccer. But I remember what Sebastian Giovinco was like for Toronto FC uh, that 18 months, you know, span. I remember Josie Altador. I remember a young Jonathan Osorio. I remember Michael Bradley. I remember Greg Banny's team that won everything. And then the one thing they didn't win, because they won MLS Cup, was the CONCACAF Champions Cup in penalty kicks to Matias Almeida's Chivas. So that's the best team I've seen. That, that's, that's the one team right now. And, and trust me, the Seattle Sounders will have something to say. DC United will mm -hmm. have something to say. The LA Galaxy back in the day will have something to say. But for my money... That's the best team right now. But certainly, when you look at the eye test, when you look at what they've done, the trophy hall, if they can pick up MLS Cup, if, the, if Inter Miami can win MLS Cup, it'd be very difficult for me to say there's another team that's been better than them because of the players that they have, because of the style, because of how they did it, and how they continue to do it when nobody thought they could. And I raised my hand. I sat here and I told you there's going to be a day where Messi is going to get injured. He will not play all these games. The summer schedule this, the summer schedule that. And guess what? I was right. Where I was wrong was how the rest of Inter Miami mm. and Tata Martino picked up the slack. They didn't miss a beat. And because of that, when he was healthy, he came right back into it. And they were Inter Miami again with Messi doing messy things. So MLS Cup or bust for him to become the best team ever. Because that's what he was brought here to do. Do not forget. You don't hand the keys to the kingdom. You don't say, here are your Apple shares to MLS season pass. Here are your shares to enter Miami. Here is the merchandise, and here's all these different things that we're going to give you, future ownership, et cetera, et cetera, for you to be ordinary, for you to just be record-breaking in regular season. No, legacy. You came here to change Inter-Miami and Major League Soccer.